Hey everyone, my name is Sudhar and I'm a medical intern here in India. Currently, I've given my US Family Step 1 exam and I've passed it. And you're watching the gastroenterology section of uh, the question solving series. And so yeah, let's begin with this one. An increase in which of the following cytokines is most likely responsible for this patient's clinical regression? Okay, so you can see that this is a uh, this is an immunology and pathology tie-in. Okay, so we'll just uh, read the question. A 23-year-old man is referred to the gastroenterology clinic due to a three-year-old history of uh, recurring abdominal pain accompanied by cramps and diarrhea. The patient has noticed an increased frequency of episodes lately with worsening pain. He also says that his uh, urine occasionally appears dark brown and his urine sometimes uh, sputters. Uh, imaging studies reveals a colovesical fistula. Biopsy obtained during colonoscopy shows uh, chronic ileocolitis with discontinuous transmural inflammation and non caseating granulomas. Yeah, uh, they've given the diagnosis of Crohn's disease and the patient becomes skeptical and says, there is no way I'm getting a colostomy back. He then refuses treatment and pursues a second opinion once his symptoms subside. Okay, the second biopsy demonstrates Reduce inflammation in the regions of previously active colitis, iliocolitis. Okay, so they've asked which uh, cytokine is responsible for the clinical regression. So what they're essentially asking us are the anti-inflammatory cytokines, which are IL-4, IL-10 and TGF-beta. And yeah, I think only IL-10 is given here. And yeah, very straightforward question. Uh, you should know which are the anti-inflammatory cytokines and the inflammatory cytokines. Uh, 